All right, Burn. everybody. Hey, and welcome. Uh, <laughs> it's your old pals, Explorer Idra and Jane Cobb. And Whoa. We're, and we're back with a new series for ARC. We've moved on from the center, and uh, you can definitely catch that series on our channel, where we ended up taking down and had a crazy epic boss fight in that one. Uh, it's turned out to be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we finished the island, uh, in which we did before we started this group, this channel. Um, and uh, we took down the Overseer, and that was quite an epic fight as well. And so now we're kind of making our way. We're, mo we're moving on uh, our steps in climbing up the arc ladder, so to speak. So we're on to Scorched Earth now, the awesome hot desert map, uh, older DLC. And as we make our way through all the different ones... Uh, this episode is going to be just a little bit different, and uh, yeah, some idiot forgot to check the sound when we decided to record the first episode. <laughs> yeah, um, and so we have all the, the footage, which will be going in the background here uh, from it. Just going to show you a little bit of it, but otherwise uh, we didn't have any sound. So we kind of decided that we didn't want to just throw away what we had. And we just change it up just a little bit and look at uh, keeping it and just making this a bit more of a podcast type episode. Uh, and to say, can you do snowballs in the desert? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Uh, so, <laughs> so we're going to do the, yeah, like a bit of a podcast and be able to say thank you very much to everybody for, yeah, nice throw there, dipstick. Um, to say thank you for the over 100 subscribers and the people who have been following us and enjoying our content, we greatly appreciate uh, everybody that's you know subscribed and been supporting. Uh, it's been amazing. I think when we both started this, we were just kind of like, hey, let's just do this for fun and didn't really expect to get anything more than two or three subscribers. We just thought we'd be the ones watching and laughing and having a good time watching our own shenanigans. but. Uh, it's been really good. It's been awesome. And yeah, are, are you done throwing snowballs? No. No? All right, cool. Um, so this series is going to be probably a little bit shorter as if you're familiar with Scorched Earth, you know, there's only three caves, uh, not like the others where there's almost a dozen. So it's going to be a little bit shorter series. We want to get in, get the mana core done. Uh, and not to say that we don't want to enjoy the map, but we... I mean, it, it is just one big giant desert, so it's a little bit one tone. So it'd be nice to get it done. And we got a little base going that you can see. We'll save that for some future episodes. And get on to some other stuff. Get on to Lost Island, I think it is, that comes out here right away, right? Yep, 14th, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, Walkart <laughs> keeps it to the 14th. So, and get on to that. So, um,. Now with this, we have given ourselves some challenges, a couple of different challenges. So we started this one off and one of the challenges that we did was we're keeping it so that we each have to tame our first mounts. So for the other person. For the other person, yeah. So I gotta gift I gotta find, tame, gift Jane Cobb with his first mount. He's gotta do the same for me. Uh, we were gonna have a penalty for if you lost the first mount. I don't even know what the penalty is or was. Um, oh, our, uh, yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we have to figure that out when we get there. Yeah, it's you know it's gonna be walk the de walk the mile in the desert naked or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right behind you. Just go take a walk right down that alley right behind us. Yeah. Um, and and go hug a mantis. That's Ooh. that's, that's what we gotta do. Yeah, go hug a mantis <laughs> naked. Uh, yeah, sweet. <laughs> um, and then the next one was we wanted to give ourselves kind of a, a good challenge for this one. So I proposed what if we did this one with only non-fabricated weapons and armor. So uh, nothing out of the fabrication table that we can use as far as weapons and armor. So no... Uh, what is the fabricated shotgun and sniper rifle and all that stuff so literally we're running around with the original shotgun the old two barrel uh just the long neck rifle and crossbows for the most part and then just our basic tools uh our armor we're gonna keep to 
uh, at the most flak and probably the desert cloth armor which we're wearing um yep. and i was going to kind of do that uh, one exception that we can't is... get on this map yep there's going to be glider suit yeah so the glider suit's kind of a must and, and i think that's just for us that's our play style uh just like we we do run our own server for the two of us and we also have our own mods and stuff that we use we don't play straight up vanilla we do turn some stuff out i mean at the end of the day well we're both kind of a you know a little bit older and we have That's lives and... yeah <laughs> well i feel old some days my god uh <laughs> but we you know we have lives and jobs and all that other good stuff and we do try to run a couple series on our channel so uh, at the end of the day we like to use some quality of life mods and turn up a few things just to make things go a little bit quicker for us. So, um, yeah. So beyond that, the last thing I think that we were doing for challenges was we were going to look at running the caves without mounts. Uh, we did most yep. of the caves on the center with our thylas. And this time we kind of wanted to breed up the thylas and use them to get around. But to run the three caves, we're just going to stick it to some old, just, you know, gunslinging action. So, uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, any challenges that you can think of? Am I missing any? Uh, no flyers. No flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, so we almost always go for flyers to get around for, for uh, resource runs and get us to places but in this we decided you know what the map is it's not all that big and it's generally flat so why not just try and do it with fly without flyers so very minimal um if anything like just a low flyer to get us to a, a location or two that we can't get to otherwise but that's the extent yeah absolutely and you'll see in uh, you know what Jane Cobb's saying in one episode we tamed ourselves a low level flyer just to get to a certain point and then someone went and lost that flyer so we no longer have it anyways <laughs> yep <laughs> but yeah um otherwise so I think that's gonna do it for the challenges now on to the mods there buddy so mods we're doing the same that we we almost always do so the main one is S plus that's just a that's a big quality of life and and building enjoyment compared to vanilla uh, plus they have just some extra extra things like when you when you talk about the forges and the fridges and stuff having more storage spots within them so again quality of life um, and then we have uh, the awesome teleporter to get us from base to base without having to to run so we can just teleport on that um then we have the upgrade table which is a phenomenal tool that we like to use so in traditional vanilla the only way you can get above a primitive weapon is finding it in the the orbital drops oh i don't think they're called orbital drops on these maps that was genesis yeah, it's like a loot crates uh, or something. Loot crates, yeah. yeah. Loot drops. Loot drops, there you, there you go. Um, so the only way to find something better than primitive was to find it in there or a blueprint. And so for the upgrade table, you can actually upgrade your tools and your armors up to max level. And you can blueprint them and upgrade them and try and proc them to the extreme max that you can go. I'm working on trying to get Jane Cobb to do up a quick video on <laughs> on how to properly do all of that with the mod and show off show off how to get you the the max quality uh, items that you can use. See if he see if he goes for it. Nudge nudge wink wink. <laughs> see if I bite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have some decor ones, the eco ones. You know which ones those are. Yeah, so uh, that's my big thing. I, I love decorating uh, in this game, and I think there's some wonderful, amazing mods out there for doing it. And Ecos is one of the biggest ones. Uh, there's a few different decorative ones, the RP, Decor, uh, which has a few awesome tables in it. And then there's the Garden one. Uh, and then we're using the new, newer, I should say. Uh, it's like a tech table, which has lots of cool... There we go. Yay. 
Uh, lots of lots of cool tech items in it, and there's another one that I really want to try out in our next map. I'm hoping uh, is kind of based upon it looked like Atlas items, uh, skins that were taken from the the game Atlas and tossed into a table with some extra goodies in it. And uh, yeah, I just I love the the decorating aspect of it, throwing stuff around. Yep. And then one of the eco, eco ones, it's the one with the kitchen. Yes, and I think that I'm pr pretty sure that's the RP decor. So there's RP decor and shop decor. So and I think the kitchen okay. one is yeah, kitchen one is the RP I think. Yeah. So in the kitchen one, especially for this, but we we keep it on all the maps. But that one has a kitchen sink function, so that you can have water wherever without having to pipe it somewhere. And it has a much improved stove to cook meat and. Well, it's just to cook meat, I guess. Works like a, a fire pit. What else? Yeah, that's really what it what it replaces. Yeah, those are the two main ones out of there that are really yeah. nice. That uh, the ability to be able to not have to rely on making your base always right next to water. Uh, it just gives you a little bit more option that you don't have to have big, long, ugly pipes going halfway across your map just to pipe in water. Uh, yep. Again, it's just one of those quality of life things. We want to build a base on the side of a giant mountain way up in the sky. Well, we can just throw down one of those sinks and we've got water. By Jove, I think we can. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> so, Yeah, anything else? So, what else did we have here? So we have the upgrade, the eco, the awesome teleporter. Um, I think that's it, man. Yeah. Because we we have nine total, and okay. yeah, I think the majority of them are the eco ones. Yeah, and the the teleporter, uh, the teleporter just allows us we can have a few bases uh, and get around, and we can also have. Um, the handheld teleporter in our inventory so when running the caves or let's say for us you know running around something comes up and we gotta exit the game real quick while you're not kind of stranded to be like oh shit i gotta find a place to rest that's safe you know just boom pop that in pop up to your teleporter and you know you're safe at your base so again um i know it takes away a little bit of the survival aspect but we've done this game now for Quite a few mm. years, so <laughs> I feel like we've yeah. earned it. <laughs> just a few thousand hours. Yeah, yeah, just a few. So uh, there is one more. Just looking through here is yeah. no collision. No collision. Yeah, and the no collision. So that one, it was an older mod, uh, and it was used kind of when S plus was not quite a big thing yet. It wasn't fully, I guess, upgraded or or finished, and the no collision was supposed to be good to allow you to build so you could build in between like the sides of cliffs and things like that and it, and it wouldn't uh, you wouldn't get that big red error thing saying no you can't play something here so uh, we used it for a long time uh, it was just something that we've kind of always stuck with and we kept it because I really liked the windows out of it mm -hmm. it there's the no collision windows are phenomenal looking they did such a great job with it and you'll see in an episode when I do up the the side of our uh, our workshop um, I'm a big fan of them and yeah they're just I don't know there's very cool different windows compared yep, to your and we ones. and we have one more mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is the last one here just looking okay. we have one more and the main purpose is the table itself because I need storage oh when I drop all my shit the <laughs> PNC table <laughs> yes. stupid PNC table so that's kind of a long-running joke uh we've had that going for a while because i am so ocd about keeping the base clean and organized <laughs> and some jackass likes to go running around farming comes back and goes oh, i don't have time to look around and put stuff where it belongs everything goes in this one table and it just ended up being the pnc table for whatever reason was the first one uh and it just stuck and then when we were doing this with pig pen the both of you two jackasses would just run <laughs> in and be like, here, pfft, here's everything. And we'll just let Idra go and fix it and figure out where it all belongs. So, uh, But the PMC actually has a, a totally different use. 
<laughs> that I that I do like uh, originally. Originally, and it's <laughs> it's it gives you a different power source, and I like it because it doesn't require you to have to have a huge wind turbine. Uh, it's just it has the source for solar, and you literally just pop up a battery and solar panel, and then you just put in your electricity, your electrical cables, and that's it. So. Um, and it bypasses both the wind turbine and your generator, so you're not worried about gas. So. Yeah. The only pain in the ass is finding that initial click point. Oh, God. Yeah, I've I've destroyed so many <laughs> ceiling tiles. <laughs> Just trying to find that that sweet spot. Until you, until you talk nice to it. and Yeah. Yeah. And it wants to work Hold your tongue you. the right way. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so... Yeah, yep. uh, I think that's I think that's really gonna be about it. Uh, it covers off our challenges, covers off our uh, our mods, and covers off a bit of the series. Again, thank you so much to all of you guys for all the support, and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this series as well too. Um, let us know in the comments down below if there's something that you want to see from us. If you want to see a particular mod uh, and how it's used, uh, or if you want to see god i don't know something let us know uh if if you have a request but otherwise yeah it's gonna be a cool series a little bit quicker uh we're gonna jump right into it and then uh we've done a lot of farming off camera a ton of farming off camera oh and that's one more thing is that uh dude look at you look at you're doing on push-ups you're just you're a, you're a machine wow i wonder why you're so jacked um all Can't the wait yeah all the farming uh, all the materials in this game for us to build and use that is one thing we don't spawn any of that in it is all farmed by us uh so it's a lot of hours uh off camera doing up a lot of farming so uh nothing spawned so but yeah otherwise guys we do hope that you enjoyed the series hope you enjoyed the episode thank you very much if you stuck around uh we greatly appreciate it this one is like i said a little bit different and a big thank you to the over 100 subscribers it's been amazing i i really truly hope that we can get some more going and uh and continue on giving you guys what you want to see and uh yeah with that have yourselves yeah, yeah thank an you. awesome day dude look at the purple trap yay right yeah i house. know <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, all right, guys. Take care. <laughs> Bye.